हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ टिक्साज वी आर अ टैक्स कंसल्टिंग फॉर्म एंड हेयर वी टॉक टॉक अबाउट ऑल द लीगल टैक्सेशन कम्पलाइंसेज इन दिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रेडमार्क एंड स्पेसिफिकली ट्रेडमार्क सर्च हाउ टू कंडक्ट द सर्च वाई इज इट नेसेसरी एंड वाई इज इट डन माई नेम इज सिवेश झा एंड आई एम द सी एफ ऑफ Texas group of companies i look over to the trademarks as i am a registered trademark attorney so let's start the video first point is what is a trademark search trademark is a database among all the 45 classes of products and services that are registered among them 34 classes are for products and from class 35 to 45 it is for services we have to go through a deep search before applying for a mark because mark application is just 1% of the work getting is registered is 99% of the work so we have to look over to the bigger picture that is to get the mark registered so that's why we have to conduct a thorough search among the database available with ip india ip for intellectual property how do we conduct the trademark search and where to conduct the trademark search well uh, if i go sequentially a trademark search is conducted on ip india website on three categories first vna codification second phonetically third via word mark i will explain to you all these points in detail first is vna codification each product like this mic or this camera or this watch or computer or a pc everything is listed with a particular code in its class these are items that i have talked is electronic items so they must be in class 9 and in class 9 there is a particular code for everything it must start with 09 and it must be a six digit code first word search is done through vna codification this is the vna codification search second is word mark most important thing is word mark among all the three types of search word mark means similarity of word my brand name is texaj texaj is registered in a class 35 as accounting and business advertisement services you cannot just go and file a similar name my spelling is t a x a j texaj you just cannot go and file t a c a j texaj or something like texaj or e texaj you cannot morph the words and get a new registration or fresh registration it is prohibited in trademark act this is why word mark search is compulsory and a very important we have to go through all the databases of the related thing and have to find out if there is even a slight similarity we check the client we ask them to not to proceed with the particular mark as the chances of registration gets marginally thin that's why it is necessary third way of the search or third tool for trademark search is phonetically you cannot have a mark which sounds similar to some other mark like one of my clients got objection in his word mark derma the company was derma natural private limited it is a jaipur based company uh, they are registered in delhi so when we were filing for their trademark derma we got a objection from dharma dharma production something d h a r m a dharma production so the registrar said uh, dharma and derma sound same so we cannot proceed with the mark in the same way one of my clients his uh, washing powder brand is dhuru d h u r u dhuru and he is getting objection from dhuru d u r u it is something similar though the spelling is different but sound sound is same phonetic is same so he is also getting a lot of hindrance while getting it registered so these three were the important parts phonetically word mark 
and Vienna code. We have to check all these three to get our mark registered. Why is it necessary to conduct a trademark search? If you will not conduct a trademark search, you will get objection and your mark will ultimately get refused. So, if you want to get through, if you want to get your mark registered, do a thorough search before. Because once you start the company, you invest your time, you invest your money, you invest your energy, you invest your contacts. And after a couple of months or even one year, you get to know that your mark is not going to get passed. It will be rejected. So it will be a great setback. So it's necessary to conduct a thorough search, get some legal help, get some expert advice before doing a search and then proceed. How does a trademark search works? This is the website address IP India. Go to this website. There will be two variables that you have to feed. First, the word mark that you want to apply. Second, the class in which you have to apply. If you don't know the link for searching your class, the link is in the description box, trademark search. You can go to that link and you can do the search. If you don't know about class details, go to texas.com. On that page, we have given entire product list and details of Vienna codification, which is primarily mandatory. There are various other items. It is impossible to stock all the details on a single page of paper. But still, we have managed to keep more than the details that is necessary. Know your class. Apply that word mark to that particular class and do the search. There will be a bubble of items coming through of the listed marks, similar items. With that, you can check whether your mark is registered or not or it's registrable or not. There are various marks which are similarly already registered, but the products might be different. So you can apply in that mark. There are several marks published on the website which is in actual expired or they have not been renewed. So you can also apply in that mark. But these all are uh, expertise kind of work. So do get expert advice before proceeding through this. We help you checking in the databases of all the four cases applied, objected, refused and registered so that you know that you won't get a shock once your procedure is through. So it's better to do a trademark search beforehand. If you need any help regarding trademark search or filing or application or objection reply, you can always get in touch with Texaj. We are there to help you. We have been helping our clients since 2016. You can see our Google ratings. We are good at our work. I hope I have answered most of the things regarding trademark search. But, but still, if you are looking for some specific query or question, you can always write in the comment box and we will reply you ASAP. I hope you liked the video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and do comment and give a thumbs up so that it keeps us motivating to launch more videos, educational videos, so that our, our viewers can gain. Thank you.